as I've talked about recently, I've been reading Beyond Good and Evil by Nietzsche, and uh, I've done a couple of videos just on my take on it in general, my first impression, and then kind of what I call checking the math on Nietzsche a little bit, just thinking about what he's talking about and how perhaps he formulated his views, etc. Um, I wanted to hone in on one particular topic today that I think is a key theme in Beyond Good and Evil. And I, I important to caveat, at least I believe, um, anybody, myself very much included, who claims to know exactly what Nietzsche was talking about or exactly what he meant or what his point was or what his big takeaway was, I think is probably either lying or hasn't thought about it enough or just, you know, isn't, isn't uh, being genuine. Because what he writes about and how he writes it makes it difficult to decipher. Although I think that's part of the benefit. It's very thought-provoking. It, it, it um, opens you up to lots of ideas. But in this case, the theme I wanted to talk about that I think he's trying to get across, a key theme of the book, um, which is relatively well documented, is the idea that um, the, the higher men, as he would call them, uh, these men that, that are above the, the, the herd animals, right, the, the average man, um, they almost have a responsibility, right? Their responsibility to exercise what makes them the higher man, the things that make them distinct, different, better, stronger, whatever it is, um, they shouldn't shy away from that. They should embrace it. And in many ways, society has developed these constructs and frameworks, whether it be religion or just moral codes and what have you, that they should they should almost be ashamed of that strength that they have, that ability they have, the thing that separates them from the average or below average person. And that much of society today, and that's a lot of the problems I think he sees with it, is that those people that are higher, are better, are playing down to the average person. And the average person kind of dictates what happens in the world, or at least that mentality does. So, you know, I get that logic to an extent. We could spend a lot of time talking about that. But the piece I wanted to hone in on about it is, you know, in the current chapter I'm reading, which is a lot about virtues, um, he talks about the virtues of that higher man. And much in line with what I was just saying, that um, it is the responsibility of that person to uh, act accordingly, act the way Nietzsche believes they should act. Use that power and use it for its intended purpose from a very like animalistic nature perspective to dominate, to, um, he talks about gradation of ranks of people and there's certain people that are just higher ranked than others and that's something they should, they should fully embrace. What I wonder is a topic that I've talked about before and I've used George Washington as kind of the proxy or the example to talk about in terms of this is what would Nietzsche say about this idea that I believe, which is that one of the key things of a leader, right, of somebody who's going to affect positive change and, and move society in the right direction and, and, and lead the right way is that when you get into a position of power, that you don't do the natural thing, you don't do the instinctual thing, which is to exploit, right? Maintain, exploit, take advantage of that power. Um, that when you get to that position, when Nietzsche's terms, if you are a higher man who has this capability and has this power, that you could wield it to, to, to serve whatever purposes you want and exploit it, but you shouldn't. You should use that power to help others, to, to, to make things better for the whole. Um, much like a George Washington who had power, and some would say absolute power, by his second term as president. And he decided to walk away because he thought that would be better for the country and better for our people and, and just a better position overall. What would Nietzsche say to that? Would he criticize George Washington, right? And I, don't, I haven't seen his writing on it. He came after George Washington, but I haven't seen it, anything that he said directly. But I would be very curious of his view of it. I, I think what he would say is that was a mistake, Right? George Washington, assuming he was a higher man, and maybe he would also say he wasn't actually a higher man. That's why he did it, because he didn't have that capability and those skills or virtues, whatever. Um, but assuming he was, I think he would say he, he, he blew it. He missed his opportunity for, for the natural order of how things should work and what actually would have been better for everybody would have been for him to embrace that role and to handle it as such. And I struggle with that, right? I struggle with that because I think it's too simple. It's too simplistic of a view it's too, um, it's too basic. It's not nuanced enough. And, and it's, it, it's, it, um, it, it allows for like complacency almost this idea that it's just that simple. If you're better, you do better things and you take advantage and you exploit. And if you're worse off, well, that's too bad for you. It doesn't allow for what I think 
is the beauty of human nature and our, our capabilities when we do it right, right? The ability to see that I can help others, right? I can help myself, I can help my family, I can help my country, I can help other people. I can use that power in a more nuanced way and not such a simple way where it has to be either I just give it up to everybody, right? Um, in like a very socialistic way or I keep it for myself and I, I, this is what it's meant to be. This is the natural rule of the world. Um, I think there's nuance that can be instituted. I think there's ability to be, like we've talked about, that philosopher king type that has the ability to do that, but takes it and says there's something more, there's something better. We're not just base animals anymore. We have evolved over time. Sure, there's, I'm sure there's ways we've evolved too far, or at least we haven't evolved and we think we have, and we live by certain codes that go very much against our instinct. And perhaps there's some, some, some aspect of that. But I think the idea that if you are in a position of power, that... The only thing you should do with that is, is take advantage of that position. And I don't know that Nietzsche says that directly, but the idea that the common man is just a common man and you don't worry about them, I don't think so. I think there's opportunity to be better than that. I would like to think that the thing that's missing from society, the thing that, you know, if you look at thousands and thousands or, you know, however many years of, of humans fighting and killing each other and having disagreements and conflict, I, I tend to believe in many ways when you get down to the base root, that power dynamic is at play, right? And the people in power continue to do what Nietzsche would say you should do with that power. Um, I, I personally don't believe that's the answer. I believe the answer has to be more nuanced. I believe that higher men, as Nietzsche speaks about, if they do exist, um, that person should have the capability to say, I see, I see what I could do, right? But as I've said before, just because you could do it doesn't mean you should do it. Seek, seek out that better way. Don't, don't, and this is where I take a little bit of issue with Nietzsche, is he seems so certain and so resigned to the fact that this is the way it has to be. It's natural, it's right, it's the way it has to be. And he's, he's very quick to criticize others who look for other ways and all the holes in that. But what about the holes in his approach? What about the, the holes in his approach that resign us to this, this base, almost ugly human nature that says we can't use our power to lift others up and make people better? I'm not saying he's wrong, but I am definitely not saying he's right. I'm not willing to take that leap to certainty to say it's the absolute right way to do it. I, it's worth it enough to me that it's worth exploring more and testing and not just assuming that's the case.